Our global societies are indeed facing a turning point. The climate is changing rapidly and likewise a rapid response is required in order for us to have the world and global societies running on green fuels in the future. 15, 20 years ago we saw wind turbines and wind energy uh, taking a very central place in our energy system. However, uh, wind energy cannot run the societies and stimulate the society's need for energy overall. Firstly, wind turbines turn when the wind is blowing and when the wind is not blowing we need other sources to complement. But moreover, wind energy is also a way of creating hydrogen. So when the society does not use all the electricity created from these renewable electricity sources, you can actually use them for the creation of green hydrogen. You can effectively store it, you can transport it, and you can save it for laser use. Green hydrogen systems, our company was established uh, around 14 years ago in 2007. We are a clean tech provider of electrolysis equipment, equipment that can split water into hydrogen and oxygen. We are an OEM, original equipment manufacturer, which means that we produce the equipment here at the factory we have, and we sell it on to our customers who will use this equipment, our equipment to produce green hydrogen. Hydrogen is important because we need to uh, combine electricity from renewable energy sources uh, with the molecules we need in our energy system. In today's energy system we have a lot of molecules. We of course have electricity. We have molecules from uh, fossil sources. So we have uh, some gases, methane for instance, natural gas, or we have uh, molecules like you know from gasoline or diesel. In the future we need to make that link as well. We need to take electricity, convert it into hydrogen. Hydrogen is the easiest uh, thing to convert electricity into. And from hydrogen we can convert it even further to other molecules. And we need to do that conversion in order to transform our energy system uh, to a renewable based energy system. The Bond Hydrogen pilot project we have done together with Green Hydrogen Systems is about connecting an electrolyzer turning electricity into hydrogen with what we normally do, the wind turbines where we generate green electricity. And what we do in this test is really demonstrate that we can bring these two together and we can make them operate without being on the public grid. That would mean we can do the hydrogen production locally where we have the generation capacity from the wind turbines without having to build expensive electricity grids to transport the electricity. The reason green hydrogen is really important is when you look at, at the wider decarbonisation challenge we have ahead of us. We have some very hard to abate sectors where we cannot just go directly to, to direct electrification and that's where green hydrogen really comes into play because green hydrogen is the energy vector we can use for kind of replacing the known fossil fuels, oil, gas, coals, etc. Hydrogen is already an energy carrier demanded by uh, the societies across Europe and globally. But that hydrogen is grey hydrogen. Grey hydrogen comes from fossil fuels and it leaves a very large CO2 footprint when you actually use it. However, green hydrogen created from renewable electricity sources is an absolutely CO2 free energy carrier from the very creation to the ultimate end use. Hydrogen is a part of society today. We use a lot of it in different applications. Most people have actually seen a truck driving with hydrogen without realizing it. That's one of the beauties of green hydrogen. You fundamentally will get back to the fueling cycle you know from an internal combustion engine like we have known now for many years. So it's a matter of minutes. You don't need to charge or build out a large electrical infrastructure to be able to supercharge here. You fundamentally just put on the hose and fill your car and off you go again for another seven, 800 kilometers. We believe our technology can play a key role in the green transition. We all have to chip in in order to drive the green transition, but in order to maintain our way of life, we need new sustainable technologies and electrolysis producing green hydrogen is a key technology for doing that. We already have a number of projects running in Europe. One of them is a electrolyzer connected directly to a Siemens Gamesa wind turbine. Also we have a number of hydrogen production sites in Denmark and in Sweden where we have buses running on hydrogen produced by green hydrogen electrolyzers. 
With Green Hydrogen Systems, we are blessed with a, a very competent and foresighted research and development team. More than a decade ago, they basically saw what many people didn't see back then, which is the future role for green hydrogen. And they invented the equipment we have within pressurized alkaline electrolysis, exactly because green hydrogen is a zero emission fuel. And they saw that uh, back then and basically developed the technology for the future. Project schedule for next year is a 24 megawatt hydrogen production and methanol production plant here in Denmark, which will be the first world's largest hybrid hydrogen and methanol production facility. With a number of consortium partners, we also have a 100 megawatt hydrogen production facility planned here in Denmark at Skiw Green Lab. In order to scale uh, green hydrogen and really um, make it an important step in, in the green transition, we need to achieve a number of things. First of all, we need lawmakers and policymakers to understand that this industry needs support. Furthermore, we also need the technology to mature. This is still a relatively new technology. So getting the technology to market, running pilot projects and scaling the technology is absolutely key. Thirdly, and that comes from the first two, it's very important that we also see the cost of green hydrogen being reduced going forward in order to compete directly with fossil fuels. We all know that the Stone Age didn't end because we ran out of stone. Effectively, we invented other solutions to the problem. And similarly, green hydrogen uh, is for that sake uh, an energy carrier for the future.